Hey guys, it's Lewis, aka Mr. Loser, and recently I wrote a piece for BuzzFeed listing 18 things that trans men are tired of hearing, and on this list was the dreaded question, how do you have sex? How? How? Now a lot of people commented on the piece, saying surely it would be more productive to educate people with an answer rather than giving them a slap on the wrist for asking the question in the first place. I still stand by the fact that you should never ask such a personal question to someone you barely know. However, being a really open person myself, I'm going to voluntarily open myself up to you Ooh. and answer the question. How? So first of all, everybody likes different things in a bedroom, trans or not. There are countless sexual acts and not all of them involve <laughs> Whenever you first start dating someone, you never know what the bits are going to look like or what they're into, unless of course you slept them right away you dirty dog view. Secondly, some trans people have had surgery and some haven't, so it's really impossible to tell you how all trans people have sex. I can only speak from my personal experiences, so let's get to know each other. So, um... Uh... Do you want to see my dragon? I hadn't had any lower surgery when I met my girlfriend, and I remember when we were first talking about sex, she said to me that it may take some getting used to. At the time, I was a little upset by this, thinking that I was no different from any other guy. But looking back, I realised that my girlfriend's reaction was perfectly normal. She'd only ever been with non-trans guys before, so of course she was going to be nervous about it. She didn't know what to expect. What she didn't know was that trans guys' anatomies change on testosterone treatment. The clitoris grows into a small penis. Even before testosterone, I always saw that part of me as male. I never acknowledged my vagina. I never called it that, and even though I've had surgery now, which means I've got no female-associated bits left, I still have trouble saying that I once had a vagina. <laughs> it's important to note that some trans guys are really comfortable with that part of them and they use it and they enjoy it. Personally, I could never do that and I know a lot of trans guys who feel the same way I do, but again, everyone is different. But anyways, back to me. Even though I wasn't big enough down there to... <laughs> I could still do lots of other stuff the same way that non-trans guys could do. After our first time, my girlfriend was amazed by how natural it felt. Since then, I've had a type of lower surgery called the metoidioplasty, which works with what is already down below. And even though it's not the biggest, it looks totally natural. You'd never know that I wasn't born with it. Now sex is even better with me and my girlfriend, mainly because I'm more comfortable with myself. But in all honesty, it hasn't made a massive difference to our sex life, because even before the surgery, I was still a guy with genitals that resembled a guy's. I know that not every person on the earth would feel comfortable getting with a trans guy or a trans girl but I like to have faith that when you do really like someone you look past their physicality. I hope this video has helped you understand sex with or as a trans guy and if you have any further questions please comment below and I will either reply to you in a comment or make a new video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe if you're feeling extra kind.